Hello, welcome to another DaVinci Platform Capabilities and Benefits presentation. Today I'm going to talk about elements of the orchestration platform, which is divided into experience orchestration, which includes things that drive the DaVinci customer interactions, such as pre-built apps and low-code, no-code things that support it. And then the deployment orchestration, which manages uh, the infrastructure and framework, things like identity and access management and data management. The focus today is on unified data access. That is the ability to bring information in from a number of different sources, both external and internal to the DaVinci solution. So within the DaVinci solution, there are intrinsic elements of information, configuration data and the like, and then extending beyond just the intrinsic capability information, we have data coming in from the solution components, the contact channels and the CRM applications that are part of the integration. And finally, there are external components, information coming from third-party databases or lookups in CRM or ERP or other legacy applications perhaps, as well as user entry data, whether that's entries from the customer, for example, going through an IVR, excuse me, or information coming from the agent actions and responses. Let's go take a look at a typical DaVinci deployment and talk about how data is unified from these multiple solution sources. We'll start just with an overview of the DaVinci solution. DaVinci is a cloud deployed solution that runs on the user desktop. It runs within the user's browser session. So as you can see here, we have apps that are downloaded from Azure, as well as configuration that's downloaded from Azure when the user logs into DaVinci. And then those apps and all the data that is part of the user session stays on the agent's desktop. So none of that information is sent back to the cloud information and all connections are secure at the agent desktop. And that's part of the unified data access and another orchestration component, which is called day one data security. Here in our example, we have a clear example of intrinsic data, the global presence. Global presence includes configuration of not ready reasons, as well as other work states such as ready, ACW, and on an interaction. And that information is self-contained within the DaVinci session, part of the configuration. And whenever I change my work state, for example, go into a ready state or a not ready state, I'm changing the state of my session, which is part of that data. And then there's information that's coming from within the solution. For example, data coming from the solution channel, from the channel provider, the screen pop information, the ANI or the DNS or call attached data elements. Some of those elements may have been generated in an IVR. So IVR data can, can is external data that is captured and comes into the solution through the channel. An example of that might be user responses in the IVR or even an IVR data dip. And then there is the data that is part of the CRM integration the click to dial any and customer or contact record that or account record that comes in or screen pop record, which might be a case or whatever. All of that information is aggregated within the DaVinci um, user session. And then also part of that uh, Salesforce solution in this example would be the activity record, the uh, notes and the call outcomes and all those things that can be that are then turned around and saved into the business application. So again, this is a closed system where which remains on the agent's desktop and is maintaining all of this data. Now here I have an example of a slightly more sophisticated solution. We're going to go over that configuration, this configuration as well. And this solution adds data validation, which is user input or agent input into the solution where the user, the agent queries the customer and validates them through a pin or something like that, and then pushes that validation into an external solution, uh, 
in this case, a business process flow, which is driven by Power Automate. Um, and in our example, that's going to trigger a notification in Teams at the end of the call that says the, the user was validated or not validated. And then it could also, but not in this example, will in, could include information from other business processes being brought in. And these are all examples of how external and internal and intrinsic information to the solution are factored in as a unified data source. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go over here into our Creator Studio configuration for this. And we got there just in time because we're just about to expire. So let's go take a look at the um, Boston anyways. Let's log back in, it's pretty quick. That's a security feature too, by the way, if you didn't know, because we don't want to leave that open too long. All right, so just a quick overview of this solution. You saw the um, components in the architecture. Here we have the actual components. You can see that there's a few other things um, like the agent configuration capability, but let's focus on the simplicity of incorporating information through configuration, uh, which is how we're going to be doing this. Uh, we have this validation or verification application. The application is driven by call attached data, in this case, a CAD element called customer validated, and that's going to drive one of these two buttons in this button group. One of them confirms the, per the user and sends a true into that, into that field or takes the true from that field as well. And then the other is this not validated button, which is false. So that's the simplicity of creating this input tool. And then in case you're not familiar with it, we have the uh, DaVinci Tele Telephony Simulator, which is a very effective tool for driving scenarios and testing out your environment. So in addition to being able to put in screen pop phone numbers as I have here, we can also test the um, different scenarios where the customer say may be validated through the customer validated CAD coming out of an IVR, which by default is false, but for some customers may be true because they entered a pin in the, in the IVR. Um, and that's, you know, and then there's another element by the way of data um, capability that we can simulate, which is the uh, call disposition, which is part of the channel information. And we'll show how that works. And that information in turn can be shared with all of the components. So when we do call validation or call disposition, we'll status the call within the uh, contact channel, but we will also send that information into the CRM as part of the call activity. So with those configuration understandings, Done. I'm not going to go over Power Automate. We actually have a Power Automate flow um, low code, no code session that we have. Let's go into Salesforce and just walk through the demo and talk about the data as it's being done. So here I am authenticating myself as demo user three. And once I've done that, all of the uh, DaVinci components are going to download and all of their configurations. So that's the uh, con the intrinsic information. So you can just go here and you can see that in global presence, I've already set my uh, global presence uh, states. And when I do that change, I'm generating more intrinsic information. Um, now I'm going to take a phone call, get a screen pop and just, you know, walk through the um, solution that we've talked about. So here's our, our screen pop. We get the record from Salesforce and that information is popped into the call, caller information and also populated into the activity. Another example of just business application coming into this unified data access capability, but we also have the call attached data variable, the, call, the customer validated field, which comes in as false. We can create notes, the last piece of the um, call activity. And then here we can validate the customer. So we have these two buttons, validated and unvalidated, starts off not validated. I validate the customer, I click this button. And then when I end the call and put in the call result, I get my screen pop, or I get my notification in Teams. So here's the push that we did into Teams. 
where we pushed all that contact information and that could go off into an external process to trigger account information or security updates or what have you. And that is how unified data access adds value to the overall solution and also, as I mentioned earlier, provides also day one data uh, security because it's all within the DaVinci desktop. Thank you for attending this session.